Hello everybody, it's GreenSK5 and today I'm going to be showing you the 10 most secret and hidden areas in rivers. So, I can't show any top secret areas, right Nathan? Uh, no you cannot. Okay. You can't, well I mean like, you can show top secret areas, but you, if you're going to show like a secret room, you cannot like show exactly, like, for example if you're going to show like a secret uh, part in Harry's house, then you have to go inside that area already, so no one knows where it is. But I don't think you okay, can show anything so, of Harry's. So I, all right. So and you'll be editing out the part of the recording where I go there. Yeah, I will definitely. Okay. All right. So this is where Dano keeps his keeps the secret books. Just has some different categories of books. Uh, can you name off some of the categories? So he has unknown categories. Ooh. <laughs> Griefing! 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 Unknown or no listed category. <laughs> Alright. All right, yeah. Move the sign. Okay. So then we have presidential laws awaiting moderation. Books by band players, books by admins or previous admins, books from the police station, and peace trees, shop suggestions, and more. And pretty decorative room. A few paintings. Then you have doors leading out to the entrance of a secret area, which, by law, I cannot show you. So this is considered the most hidden shop on rivers. So we have a ring. We have a place where you can bet. We have a few tables to sit at. And then we have a place for armor. So this is a hidden shop, and I just recently discovered it. While taking... While taking a uh, that main place mine shaft area corridor. So this is a redstone area for the power plant, and and it's also it's dangerous and it's uh, pretty ugly too because just block a variety of blocks here and no one's ever bothered to fix it up. Yeah, um, I want to give a little bit of a description too. This place was kind of known as the, it was kind of known as the the pit of the underworld, or you know because. In this part in Rivers, when we were um, doing, I think everyone kind of knows where it is in a way. It's like right here. It's not really that secret. It's just hidden, really. You can kind of see through from here. But this area, yeah. when we were building a sidewalk, we had some errors and we were kept redoing the patterns over and over and over again. And when people kept having items falling through the stairs for some reason, we always had to dig down and come down here. And we would always just try so hard not to fall in. And when we did, there were always... It was not lit up, so it was just a big pit of nothing, and no one really knows how it got here at all. It just suddenly appeared. I mean, I, and uh, I, yeah. let me let me tell you my own stories about this. Yeah. So one, you, you you always get shot by skeletons. A, lim a limitation that this has. One time I tr I was going to build a, a subway system from the main place to my convenience store. Yeah. So that way there's easier access, and you don't have to go go past uh, so and you don't have to go past any other shops. You can just go straight from the main place to my convenience store. Yeah. So, and this is uh, one of the. <laughs> you should still do that, by the way. You should still do that. It actually, uh, I dug down and I dug right into this area. Yep. But you were kind of like perplexed, like, what the heck? Oh yeah. By the way, we did try to make like a ladder to go up and down from here, but it didn't really work out that well. Yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, just want to let you know that uh, uh, so we had some problems and complications with uh this whole area so it turns out we actually are going to need to um uh record from a security camera we're going to pull security camera footage from when you're in there so yeah it's okay just you know keep going all right just so we have rank fantastic duck we have a rank great yeah we have rank good we have goodness six eight okay, five I guess. goodness six eight five This thing, uh, I'll, I'll just look in, I'll just look inside to show you, there's nothing inside. Alright, well, yeah. Okay, so now, I'm going to use... So, uh, a little bit of background on this area, actually, I want to give you a little bit of background. This uh, area... So how many secret areas have we gone through? What? How many secret areas have we gone through? Well, hold on, before I say that, I want to get this out of the way. The description on this area, this originally was an area where we were going to keep track of, because on rivers we have jobs, we used to have jobs at least, I mean, they, I guess they kind of still exist, but we used to have jobs that you could have chosen if you wanted to get money on rivers, like emeralds, like maybe being a wood collector, 
or, or like a coal supplier or a miner or whatever, you could be one of those things or be a redstone or something. Contribute to rivers and you get paid money here and you get paid as much money as what rank we put you as. So if you were fantastic, we put you as a fantastic. That could be you were great, put you as great, you know, and so forth. But it turns out since we don't have jobs anymore, now we use it as a way to keep track of votes to see where people are on the voting scale. So maybe Luke is a, say that maybe does Luke, Harry, and Rich are all in a all in an election and Rich is doing better, so Rich will get the emerald block wall and then the other candidates who are behind him will get another wall. Okay. Uh, so yeah. So the so this is number six. The, no, this is not six. This is this is five. Okay. All right. So this is number five. This is something that was supposed to be someone's house, but as you can see, there's been an explosion here. Maybe Jordan two. Maybe two explosions. And this is a nice place. It was the first place in the mainland to have mushrooms. It was. And that's how I got my mushrooms. I bred the mushrooms there, and I and I took the babies. Oh, that's oh. So you are in charge of the mushroom black market area. No. Oh. Okay. Never mind. By the way, that might show up on the list. <laughs> yeah, but this place isn't really that secret or hidden. So why is it on the list? Because it's just like in a part of the mainland that no one really goes to. This is actually part of the new mainland. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess the people and another try. part of the new mainland, the plot area. Not many people will really know that this is here, except we have Neptune and uh, Eccentrix and Jackson. And yourself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is the area. We have found a command block in here. Oh, yeah, we found a command block here. This um, area. Well, no, we knew. I was there when the person put the command block down and I destroyed it. I knew who, who it was. Okay. Yeah. Are they off? Um, no, they're not. They, are pre they were once president. Well, I know who it is. <laughs> not off and once president. Yeah. I tell you, it's not me. <laughs> Bill Clinton. No, I'm just kidding. Um. So we have that. We have some spruce trees. We have a place where the oldest mom on the server used to be until Slash Code E destroyed it. Yeah, uh, but you know, well, actually, we didn't. We still have to roll back that area, but I, don't, I think the copies are so well about roll back. Um, before I continue with anything, I want to give a little bit of a background on this area as well. Now, this area was created. We don't know, but when we discovered it, it was around the time when there was about like roughly like 20 to 25 people on the server, and it was about around the time. When Ian or Minor IRC joined the server, you might know him or not, but he originally joined Rivers for a while, and he's still active actually, but he's not on usually at the times we're on, he's on usually later or early in the morning or something like that. That's from what I heard. Now, as you see, this place was very well hidden, we didn't know what it was, we just thought, oh, it's a dang mountain. You were here and you discovered this place, yeah. Alright, I think I might have some recording footage to make it uh, more clear, because uh, I don't remember these, this. There's a stone button that activates the pistons. Yeah, and but I think there was stone here before until someone, I don't know if it was you or not, someone broke these things down. Yeah, yeah. I did. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah, well there's a button here you used to open it. I think it needs to be like, I think maybe, we don't know who made this, it could have been Ian, but supposedly there was, it was a dual exit, because the only way you can get in is if you press this button. Yeah, so if you go in and, <clears throat> but if you try to get on your own, you can't. All right, let's move on to the next one on the list. Okay. This is the Hunger Games Arena. It is near the number one country in terms of residents and the largest country that doesn't have multiple United Lands. Stateness. Yeah. And it's also near the mall, which you can see in the distance. I actually, I cannot see it because I'm in the distance. It's not that far. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's all right. I don't have a good residence. So, there are some rules here. You can only build with a purple pillar. And you can break dirt leaves and gravel and nothing else, but you can place purple pillar. You broke it. <laughs> move. Signs. Wow. You broke it. There's lots of us being broken here. Just, just saying. You broke a lot of things, Michael. Um, remember that one time when you were we found the the um. Oh, I forgot. Dang it, I forgot. But like you touched this inner crystal when I said don't touch it, and I was like, Michael, don't touch that, and you blew it up. Remember? That's what happened. Yeah. Okay, I want to give uh, just something that kind of do this a lot. Oh, this is also another hidden area, but it kind of counts as a Hunger Games arena. This is a Hunger Games prop. This is right, Jackson's so I had a, I had 11 signs in my inventory other than that, so let me just get those. Oh my goodness, there's a... Alright. 
Yeah, so this area is actually a bit of a hidden area. The Hunger Games is here. We were originally planning to do the Hunger Games. Um, I don't remember when, but we were planning to do the Hunger Games about um, in, I think, what was it, March? But it didn't work because, I don't know, it just didn't work. We couldn't get players on in time, and it just it just kind of fell apart. And this map has, we, we looted, we stocked about almost all the chests, I'm guessing. Some good items, some not so good items, and there are just a bunch of hodgepodge mess of items here that are just sitting here and we hope that no one comes by and takes them because we are planning soon to have a Hunger Games episode but still we said that in March and it's now October so let's hope that we can actually make it work this time so yeah all right next item on the list okay so uh, as you're trying to do that can you please tell us a bit I, I got so back here is a secret area all right we have that nice all right so basically, that's, this area the, that's the only secret that I can uh, show you guys. Yeah, it is. Now, by the way, this is um, the reason why it's on here is because this is a hidden room. But we can't show you around too much of it because it is on one of Harry's many, 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 many properties. It's on many of his properties. In fact, the reason why this area is so well hidden is even if you did find a property or really able to pinpoint what it was, um, you it would be hard for you to get away in because finding this room is hard since he actually is an expert at making secret entrances. In fact, in this video, in the description of it, there will be a link to one of his videos called Top 15 Secret Entrances in Minecraft. I don't, I don't think there's really any commentary on it, but it, I've watched it before, and it's a very, right, so very is, good is video. This the, is this, and this the ninth I area? Think it's, I have to re- um, I think it's the ninth area, I'm not sure. But I'll, I'll recount it later. Okay, yeah, so some background on this area is that Harry actually has multiple secret uh, locations in all of his homes so this is like in, he has many homes too like many 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 homes and we're all made out of birchwood too but he has many different locations and we just thought that this one was one of the best hidden locations and here's how it works there's an area in between chests he has a huge wall of chests and in between one of his chests if you are able to somehow click at the right spot in the right time you'll be able to open up redstone activate the door to open up for a short amount of time you can walk in to an iron door that was locked and you have no idea where it is and that's pretty much it i can't give much more information about that because i want it to remain secret for you know his, okay. his privacy but yeah that's pretty much all next uh next okay. number on the list all right so these are my corridors i have corridors that go all through rivers we have one that goes to an area that is near ellie's castle that area yeah. And then we have over here, this, it goes inside the main place, and uh, another comes out at the river that create rivers, so. And we have an, yep, so those are my corridors. Alright guys, I want to give a little background on this, it's kind of funny, man, I can really give a background on this, but a little bit of background on it right now. Uh, to say is that these corridors actually they also lead to multiple different type of paid chest locations. For example, his shops. There's like a whole maze kind of hoppers that go down into this corridor, and they're all in one certain room where all the paid chests are. So this place is just a gigantic big maze that Michael only Michael himself knows how to navigate. I don't think there's any traps, but this thing leads all the way from the main place to Ellie's castle, all the way to the courthouse, and even around the area of Vanishland, which is just a huge broad wide range of locations and they all go right through those areas and yeah it's pretty interesting and before we all we were all kind of confused because we were like hey michael where are you right now and he's like in my corridor we're like what's your corridor we were all kind of confused but now since we kind of know what your corridors are and some people even know the secret entrances and exits to them which is only i think a quite few i think ethan is one of them who's yes kind of i i show i showed him the one yeah there's 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 more than one there's multiple different ones, but I don't, I recommend you guys do not go around and just break random stuff if you're thinking you're going to find it, because this thing is extremely well hidden, and it really does give a lot of the other things we listed in this video a run for their money. Now, it's not really good redstone-wise, because really it's just, you have to break a block to get in, but it's very good hidden on the ground, and it goes, it's like a, a non-functioning subway station, basically. Yeah. Yeah, alright, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure like, to like, comment, subscribe, it really helps out the channel. Yeah, Michael got it down. He got it down. And yeah, thank you so much for the support. Uh, thank you for watching. And yeah, we'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye. All right, bye.